Maggie was found on, living on Wasteland in Ireland just over four years ago. She was found abandoned with four puppies and she was living off rats and rubbish. It was a front leg that she lost, but one of her back legs, she's got a touch of arthritis. So it's affected our walk and affected our balance. Maggie's got separation anxiety. So I struggled. I used to work from home a lot of days, but then on the days where I didn't work from home, Maggie couldn't be left. She would get into such a state. So I had to find daycare for Maggie and there was nothing local. So I was having to drive miles to take her to daycare and then miles back mm -hmm. to work. And then when the chance of redundancies came up, I took my redundancy and, and decided to, to create a daycare for Maggie. I was worried that we wouldn't get any dogs at all, but now we've got, there's over a hundred dogs on the book. Maggie is exactly as Maggie always was. She's a stubborn little terrier. In three days after she had her leg amputated, she jumped on the sofa, she was running upstairs. She terrified the life out of me. Maggie is just, she's just an amazing little dog. She just gets on with everything that you throw at her. The day I brought her home, she, she wet herself with fear being in a car. She didn't know what a carpet was. She'd never held a toy. She'd never had a, a nice word or a, you know, a, a comfort, nothing in there. Well, she just, she's absolutely queen bee. She rules the roost in here. All the dogs know she's the boss. They all copy everything that she does. And she's on the sofa, she's on the bed. She just, everything's, for Maggie, it's all about comfort now. Comfort in rosettes. I think that's Maggie's future.